Great. I'd love to start by asking you all a question. So imagine that you've gone to your grocery store, whatever your favorite grocery store is, and you're looking to find a soup, a new soup that you haven't tried before. When you walk into the grocery store, I'd love a raise of hands. Do any of you try to find soup by getting on a phone and typing in keywords like wheat, MSG, beef, quinoa, broth? Does anyone search for soup like that? OK, so most of us know to search by soup by category, right? Or by browsing. Well, one of the services that librarians provide is to classify information and to help you find it by that subject or by browsing by subject. So I'm going to show you all how to do that in one academic database. Are we ready to try it? Yeah? OK. So from the Humboldt homepage to access the library, we use the quick links up here. So I'm going to scroll down to the student services area and click on library. And then once I do that, I'm going to hover over search and locate, and I'm going to select articles and databases. And down here, we have every department represented with lots of examples of databases that librarians and faculty highly recommend. But this is small, but I'll show you. Right here, this link is a basic database that can help all disciplines search broadly. So I'm going to click on that. Has anyone used this database before? OK, nice. So for those of you who raised your hands, you're probably accustomed to typing in this field right here, right? So instead, we're going to try searching subjects up here at the top. So again, it's in the blue bar. And we'll click on either of these. They take us to the same spot. So I'm going to click on Academic Search Premier Subject Terms. Now I'm at basically the thesaurus. So I can search for all of the subjects that information has been classified by. Really importantly, don't click up here and type. And I'll show you why in just a minute. So instead, I'm going to type in here. And so one of my interests, as you might imagine, is academic libraries. So the great thing about um, searching by subject is sometimes you might try something, we'll hit browse here, and you might not find what you're looking for. But the great thing is, is you can keep at it and it makes you rethink your search strategy before you start looking at results. So it really gets you thinking about how might informa information be classified, how might I find it. And so, for instance, I originally tried with academic library, but you can see the search terms down here. I'm not seeing very many that are getting at what I'm interested in. So what I thought was, well, what's another way of writing academic library? What's a synonym? So I thought maybe the plural, academic libraries. So I have typed in academic libraries. I select browse, and now I think I hit a gold mine. Anything that's blue is hyperlinked, and you can learn more about it. So I'm going to click on academic libraries here. And this is what I love about subject searching in this database. Because I want to think about the best way to get at information that I want on a topic, by using the subject thesaurus, not only do I see the original term and why works are classified this way by librarians and experts, but it also helps me identify other really helpful subject synonyms that I can search, like broader terms, narrower terms, and related terms. Everyone with me so far? OK, here's my last step for you. Let's say that I'd like to search a couple of narrower terms. Anything that's blue and hyperlinked also has a box to the left of it. And I'll make this a little bigger to make sure you can all see. The great thing I can do is I can click on the box to the left. And let's say I'd also like to search maybe narrower terms, like community college libraries and junior college libraries. I've selected those terms. And then I can use my Boolean operators down here. That will be for a future unconference. And then I can hit Add. And when I do that, it populates all of those subjects up here. And now I can hit Search. And I can find works that are specifically about these things, rather than articles that simply mention them. And then once I've found those, then I can do keywords. So for example, if I were interested in California junior college libraries, I can do that as a keyword search and bring my results way down. So that's how I like to search for smarter synonyms. Thank you so much.